In the energy quadrant today, crude oil, WTI crude futures down two and a half percent on the lows. More than that, actually, 51.80 was the low spot. And we saw us get back up into the 52 handle as the day moved on. Crude is now down three of the last four sessions, but not a whole lot of volume on those down moves until today. Today included a 13% spike in volume on the biggest down day of those three sessions that were down. We're now working on our third of the last four months lower in crude oil. A lot of attention had been paid to the weekly rises that we've seen, but three of the last four months in crude oil have been lower and February starting off as that third of those four months. Refinery utilization, part of the reason as it adds to the global demand weakness story. Refinery utilization increased this week slightly, but to 90.7 from 90.1, those 90 handled numbers are not very good. You get down into the 88s and it ref or 88, 89 level on those refinery utilization reflects very poor demand at the refinery level, which means poor demand for end product. And that's kind of been the story in the sell off the last few days. We did have a smaller than expected build in EIA, but it was that refinery utilization number and the potential for that to go even lower with some of the shut in activity by consumers with the polar vortex last week. And then overall commodity weakness hasn't helped. Most commodities were lower as the dollar rallies for a sixth consecutive session. And that seems to be more on the idea that other currencies were weakening, other economies were weakening, and then Robert Kaplan, Dallas Fed president, said that we were near the neutral rate uh, right now in terms of interest rates, taking out the idea that there could be a rate cut, which would push the dollar lower, taking that sort of out of the market. So all those things adding to a stronger dollar story, which tends to weaken commodities, that includes crude oil.